that all of uh, since we are going to have our first online prayer, I will take you to the book of Ephesians 6. From verse, 5, verse 10. But the important verse is verse 4. What are we fighting with? Are we fighting with people? Are we fighting with demons? That's the question that we are supposed to ask ourselves. What are we fighting with as people? We have only one common enemy. No matter churches they can be many, devil is our enemy. No matter we can have a lot of churches outside, Bible is one. No matter we can have a lot of churches outside, Jesus is one. Amen. No matter we can have a lot of churches outside, God is one. Amen. In the book of Ephesians 4, verse 4, one God, one baptism. One God. If we channel ourselves from the beginning of the year and be away, we are not fighting alone or we are not fighting each other. Why are you hating a witch? Hating a spirit that is abusing that person. Why are you hating a wizard? Hate that spirit that is abusing that person. I always say if people I pass the stage of hate. Me, if I hate you, I hate the character that is being loved. Amen. Because God is love. If we acknowledge that we are not fighting with flesh and blood. If we acknowledge that we are not fighting with demons, we are sorry, we are fighting with demons, not with people. Amen. We are not gonna hate one another. Amen. If someone is doing something wrong to you, it is a demon. Don't hate the person, hate the spirit. Amen. In Proverbs, we hear a, a, a teacher say, every freshness it is attached to a heart of a fool. Then he said, there's only one deliverance that you're supposed to do. You beat the fool, feel the pain, when the fool feels the pain, that foolishness will separate with that person. Why is that so? He understood how spirits they were dragging before. We are not wrestling with people, but with Evil spirits. Amen. Everything that you see in your life not going well, there is a demon behind it. Amen. Everything that you see in your life not doing well, there is a demon behind it. What are we fighting with? Are we wrestling with people? If we are wrestling with demons, then we need to work harder so that we may rescue those who are affected by demons. Amen. There are many people who are affected by demons outside. 
There are many people who are affected by spirits. We are not supposed to hate our neighbors, no matter their witches. Amen. Amen. We need to fight this spiritual battle in a manner whereby we understand why and how are we supposed to fight. This is a spiritual battle. This is a war whereby we are supposed to fight, but in understanding what we are fighting. We have to understand that we are not fighting with flesh and blood. We are not. There is no time for you to speak it for. There is no time for you to say it all this way. There is no time for you to say everything is fine. Everything is wrong. Amen. There is no time for you to sit down and say everything is fine. Everything is wrong. Amen. We are not wrestling with people but with evil forces. Your faith. 
agents sit down. Don't allow a devil to kick you out. Because the Bible said, do mercy and pray. We must help. Amen. Jesus he says in Luke 22, in verse 31. Peter, Peter, I have prayed for you. After you are given great of faith, take care of your friends. But we hear Jesus saying to Judas Iscariot, do it now. Before God he changed his mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we hear again Jesus talking about the one who betrayed him that it was better if he wasn't born. Oh yes. When you find the demons.
Some excuses, things are not fine. But you are coming from work, you have died. Instead of putting your, 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 your things down, you rush to, to church. You are busy sleeping at home. You say, God knows I'm tired. If you come with excuses, then you say, God knows I'm like this. God knows you are a fool. There is no excuse. God what is expecting from us. It is to fight. We are going to fight. It's not going to be easy. Amen. I want to tell you something. It's not going to be easy. You believe me when you look back in December and you say, yeah, it was a good fight. It's not going to be easy. But we are ready to push. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe me, you precious people. It is genuine. And now they are still saying, changes are close. And now they are still saying, I'm taking a break. We are not taking a break. We, or without them, we are ready to fight. Amen. Our goal is the goal. Amen. A goal is the goal. I will tell you something. This year I don't want to miss church. I say, I'm serious. I say, I don't want to jump. I say, don't worry. I pray for you. God will give you money to come. As long as you are saying that thing deeply from your heart, Amen. God is a provider. Amen. God, He created us to worship and to fight. Amen. As long as you want to fight, God shall grant you what your heart desires. Shall we have a fight? Fight that as they will be fighting. And fighting with eight times a day. You are having a money to go to church, you end up buying a time. Or buying a data. Those are not soldiers. God is expecting us to stand up and fight. Are you saying? Stand up and fight. Amen. Are you demonic possessed? Stand up and fight. Amen. Are you feeling oppressed? Stand up and fight. Amen. Are you feeling depressed? Stand up and fight. Glory. What God is expecting from us, it is for us to show God. We are not confused. Amen. Believe me, all those who have attended all services this year, God will provide the money. Amen. Don't worry. Amen. But the fools, God knows they are fools. They don't deserve you to be given money because they will convert that money for transport Amen. to do their own things. Amen. Our God is gracious. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is able. Oh, yes. He is ready to bless. My dear Jesus. We have to ask ourselves, are we ready to fight? Because we always say enough is nothing. What is enough? What are we doing about enough? We only say we are tired. Yes, you are tired. What are you doing about your talents? We only say you cannot continue like this. What are you doing about it? There are a lot of words that we say. What are we doing about it? I said this year we are not campaigning, we are recruiting. Amen. Campaigning, like I said, when they say campaigning, people they relax. They think that no, this year we are we are we are not, we are not campaigning. We are joining that, that we are gonna use the word of politicians, we are recruiting. Amen. There are many people who are lost outside. Amen. There are many people who are lost outside. They are expecting someone to rescue them. Amen. We need a lot of fighters so that we may fight as a team. We 
You cannot ever 
power to stand against the enemy. If you don't put the wall up of God. Amen. You cannot be able to fight with the devil if you don't put the wall up of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you may be wondering. Don't wonder. Pray. Amen. I know you may be in trouble. Don't suffer. Pray. Amen. It is a time. It is a time. Now you come out from that city. It is a time now. You resurrect yourself. It is a time now. You acknowledge that you must be so that you may fight. Amen. It is the time. Oh, yes. You wasted your time doing wrong I was talking Sunday day after service. My daughter said to me, Ah, Papa, you saw how we left the church. We are giving churches in numbers and groups. I said, What was happening? She loved it. Hey, friends, nothing was wrong with church. We are supposed to find something that is wrong, that is not there, for us to have a reason to go outside. But many of them destroy their life, no one is having life. They destroy their life, they can't even drink it together. I will advise you not to have friends this year. Amen. A friend that you can have is a friend who share the same goal with you, fighting. Amen. If that friend doesn't share a goal with you, or fighting, that friend is not a friend. Amen. We are going to fight with those who want to fight. Don't believe me. Before February ends, you see, there will be a lot of fighters. More you of them, more of them who will be in the fight. Amen. If your spirit is dead, you cannot worship. Church. It's not an account that you join, you go and sleep. Church is not an account that you go, you, 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 you join, then you have membership, then you feel comfortable. Church is not a, 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 a federal police that you join, no matter they don't know your name is written down, they are, they, are, they are deducting their money every month, it is well with you. Church is not a, a burial society. Whereby you can send your card and for people to register you. Here, no person comes and finally, Amen. My blood be strong in the Lord and put the wall up of God and be ready to fight. Amen. You cannot fight if you are not ready. Glory. You are wasting your time. God is expecting us to stand and to fight. God is expecting us to stand and to challenge that devil. If we don't challenge that devil, devil will defeat us. If we don't challenge that devil, devil will tell God there are no Christians down there. If we don't remember what happened to Job in Job 21, in Job 1, in verse 21. A job said, I can't make it, I shall go naked. Devil was defeated. But in job 2 in verse 4, we hear a, we hear a, we hear a devil saying to God, a scheme for a scheme. You meant business. Devil meant business. If someone says scheme for a scheme, that person is not joking. That person is serious. Amen. Start running the race right now. Oh, yes. Take your excuses and throw them away. Oh, yes. It is a time you run your race without a lot of excuses. Amen. It is a time whereby you put the wall up for God and fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to have a lot of services this year. Amen. A lot. A lot for healing. A lot for Bible studies. A lot for my aim is to see you grow spiritually.